Howdy, y'all, and welcome back to JSA TV. We are coming to you from Data Cloud USA here in fabulous Austin, Texas. And joining me today, we have Susanna Cass. Uh, she really needs no introduction here to the data center industry. But please allow me to introduce one of the top 10 women in data centers, also one of the top 10 sustainability global data center leaders, recently named by Data Center Magazine. Uh, she is leading the tech and talent charge uh, here at Data Cloud as part of a huge initiative with Broad Group. And she is also the data center advisor to UNSDG. She is leading the future of data center sustainability design. She is also a graduate board member of the leading impact and analyst for Stanford University. Did I get that right? It's perfect. So Susanna, welcome to JSA TV. And I did forget to mention that she is also one of the Greener Data authors for our Greener Data Volume 2. Such an honor to be here with you today, Susanna. Thank you very much. Yes. So let's just kick it right off with a pretty loaded question here. Hmm. Why is the sustainability discussion within the digital infrastructure section so important right now? Thank you for the question. We all have witnessed where the threats that cost lives. The issue is current, and we might have actually experienced it, these unfortunate innocents in our own neighborhood, instead of reading it in the news somewhere remote. <clears throat> we are all cloud builders in this in digital infrastructure together. In the sustainability, we are all taking the same journey. So as we deplete environmental resources at such a rapid pace for the new growth that we basically have, it is really an important issue. In my viewpoint, and I thank you for the opportunity to speaking with you all in the audience, I am a big fan of JSA. It is not a race of technological innovation anymore or adoption. I plead to my colleagues in the industry as every day we start thinking about designing and building data center we must take our responsibility seriously and sustainability is not an afterthought. It is an act, an active act of responsible innovation in the digital infrastructure as we continue to be the clean cow builder and we entered into the future of data center. The future of data centers, that is what this is all about here at Data Cloud and a big piece of what you do day in and day out for the industry. So thank you again for all that you do. Uh, you bring such leadership to our industry year after year. And as the uh, co-founder of InfoPrime and a critical piece of data center design, what would make the biggest impact in the shortest amount of time? Net Zero is actually well understood in a data center design now. We need land, we need power, and we build everything else. What we need to be is purposeful of resource usage and use the resources responsibly. Let me give a specific example, such as power with no emission. It is just obvious because renewable energy source should be desired and depleted over a fossil fuel in our design of using data center. Second example, if we must use water, there's no reason to use drinking water. We need to deploy wastewater for our cooling purposes and have a replenishment strategy for water for each resource that we consume. So many of the things that we actually do in sustainability design is actually just common sense, but we need to be embracing the environment as part of our toolkit. We need to understand the effect of our design and our decision has profound effect for the generations to come such as the materials in our build, let's try to use some new innovation of zero and body carbon and pivot to resources that can absorb emissions throughout the life cycle. Thank you for that great insight. Yes. So more so about how you use the resources and becoming more efficient. Okay. And what innovations are you most excited about that you see making an impact in the design? 
for years to come, especially when we're talking about the future of data centers? AI. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, how many times is that that we've heard the acronym AI here at this conference? How many would you say? Many, and it should be in everybody's thought. So let me be a little bit, yeah, let me be a little bit specific about what I mean by when I answer your response about AI. And I sincerely look forward to expanding more in the chapter of the Future Data Center and one of the books that uh, JSA is going to be publishing. Uh, really glad to be included and invited to the journey. Thank you. So AI is a powerful technology that will transform our future. I see the capability to help us compact climate change and find sustainable solution. Climate change is a multifaceted problem with no single solution and humans are too slow to actually address the rapid shift. So AI is a good technological enabler we need to move beyond discussing about what we're going to do and start focusing on how we're going to do it. So AI help us to do now casting. We can now see the effects of climate change on Earth ecosystem, which is incredibly complex. As part of our effort to use AI as a technology for solving some of the world's most complex and challenging problems, we are working to advance our understanding to optimize existing system and be able to accelerate breakthrough science of this climate change and the effects it has. Second, AI also help us under better understand weather, climate, and interactions of the core problems and the effects as we start designing, operating, and building data center. So these are the crucial first steps that we can do. And the approach that we basically take is called now casting approach. It goes a long way to actually help us to better to make better decisions with accuracy. So we can map the research of the AI inference model to tap into the machine learning that we actually have today. So together, we can actually look at the data regardless where all the inventors, the scientists, or the builders are going to be. We can collaborate a lot more effective, a lot more efficient to optimize renewable resource system to minimize reduce emission as we continue to foster the digital infrastructure as sustainable stewards. And I will give specific examples and plead to everyone to join the journey as we author, as I author the chapter of the future of data center in the book that JSA is going to be published. Cannot be more excited about the time that we're in and how we can actually use the technology as a responsible innovation tool and we need to be more socially conscious of the future of data center that it will impact lives, but in a positive way. Wow, that's amazing. So AI is going to be a big piece of solving this sustainability problem. You heard it here on JSA TV, live from Data Cloud, uh, Data Cloud here, USA in Austin, Texas. Susanna, such an honor and a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much again for all that you do for our industry and for keeping a more sustainable future of data centers. We are so excited and looking forward to your chapter in Greener Data Volume 2, which launches on Earth Day 2024. Susanna will be joined by some of the biggest and best leaders in the digital infrastructure space. It's all about AI. It's all about sustainability here at Data Cloud USA. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in. Stay connected, stay curious, stay sustainable, and happy networking.